number, and I want, would like you to come up with your list of factors. Okay, if you think you can get all of them, all the numbers that you think, all of them. Yes, good. I want you to show me on your boards how you can break up Ooh. four times nine. Okay? But I want you to break it up. Don't just give me the answer. I know it, but I don't know how to break it up. Me neither. You don't know your nines. We all know our nines, right? You guys do something like this. Four times. Wow. Yeah. Good. Oh, I like that one. I like the way he just did that. Awesome. Jun, what did you break up your nine into? I break it up to two plus two plus one. Exactly. Okay, do we know our twos? We certainly do. Right? And then we have 36, right? Yes. Right? Let's try 16 times 3. It's my lattice box, right? I'm going to put a 16 here and a 3 here. I'm going to try to show you again. 6 times 3 is what? Because each child's different. So what, what, what works for one child may be very difficult to understand for another child. And so I teach them, I think, four ways or five ways to multiply. And whatever way works is what they should use. Right? So I tell them, as long as you can figure out a way, as long as it's not using a calculator or your friend, then you're good to go. Okay, figure it out. You can do the lattice method, you can do the original method, you can split it out where you do your five times. What would I break this up into? 다양한 방법으로 원리를 설명해 알려주는 이 학교의 수학 수업은 특정한 방법을 강요하지 않아 아이들의 자율성을 보장합니다. Yeah, you can do that way too. Any way you want. Yes. Okay, good. Okay. Look at how um, Fiona decided to do it. That is a five. Okay. That is a one. Some symmetry. It's very different. Can somebody tell me what symmetry is? Tyra. Something that you can fold in half. So like a heart, you can fold in half and repeat the same. Sometimes shapes have more than one line of symmetry. A circle, a perfect circle. How many lines of symmetry does that have? Yes. Zero. Infinity. Infinity. Or you can cut that circle, do, 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 do. lines of symmetry every single way. Yeah. 이번 시간은 게임을 통해 모형의 대칭에 대해 배우는 수학 시간인데요. 대칭선의 개수를 맞추는 팀이 승리합니다. All right, let's go. We have, we don't have much time. Here we go. It's starting. Okay. 
Fire butt. Fire butt. How many lines of symmetry does this have? Are you sure? Wow, that is so fast. I'm third, I'm third, yay! It's games like that that help them see that they can do. Usually at the end, I try to make math fun so that they will enjoy it. Wait. Which one's a line of symmetry? There might be more than one. Maybe your hand is resting on the, the pad. There's two lines of symmetry. This one here, because you can fold it this way. And this one here, because you can fold it down. Okay, so two. Last one, last question. because this one's a little bit smaller than this one. So you can't fold it the other way. Okay, that's the end of that game. Please log off. 게임으로 배우는 수업은 아이들이 공부의 재미를 느끼게 하고 적극적인 수업 참여로 학업 성취도까지 높이는데요. 특히 게임을 통한 대결은 아이들이 긍정적인 경쟁 구도를 만들 수 있도록 도움을 줍니다.